Internal combustion in the engine of a supercross bike produces loud sounds and a flow of burned gases, more commonly referred to as exhaust. Like the chimney pipe on a wood-burning stove, the exhaust is redirected behind the rider and the sounds are dampened. We have to meet a certain level of sound requirements to uh, race in the uh, AMA Supercross. The AMA official will hold the bike wide open for one second and we have to be under a certain sound decibel. So it's not so loud where people can't talk or have conversations. We got the residence chamber here. The size of the hole, you can have multiple holes. The size of the chamber, where you put it, can reduce sound because it clips a frequency out. The silencer part of the, of the exhaust is basically from here to here. There's different layers of what we call packing that help fight the exhaust coming out. And then there's also another inner shell to help with the heat because with four strokes, they generate a lot more heat than a two stroke. Believe it or not, the exhaust system on a Supercross bike is critical to its performance. You know, so you've got the size of the exhaust port and you've got to enter it into a piece of tube and you've got to turn it. And then you want to start expanding that diameter a little bit to release pressure and, and open it up. But then at the very end, because of sound, you've got to restrict it again. It's a little balancing act to figure out what's best. Wide open on the throttle, that's top end. Low end is when you're coming out of a turn, grabbing throttle, and you want to accelerate super fast. We started off with the head pipe super short, which gave it a lot of top end. We found that if we made this section a little bit longer, we could get more bottom out of the bike, which Tomac was really wanting. So we kept changing diameters, changing lengths, changing chamber sizes. It's not a set science. It's hit and miss a lot. 